Now, when it comes to spinal disc, there are quite a few other conditions that could occur. And we have a graphic here which illustrates some of the other conditions. Now, will you tell, the, tell us okay. about these? We have the normal, the bulging. Sure. So, so normal disc looks nice and smooth, okay? Mm -hmm. Bulging disc and herniated disc, it's, it's a little bit of a... It's a, it's a difficult distinction, really. What is right. bulging, what is herniated? So bulging essentially means that there is some tearing in the annulus fibrosis, and some of the disc has sort of bulged out. But okay, it hasn't completely it herniated. Correct. Herniated or extruded discs is more that, okay, not only is there a bulge where it's just sort of there and it's static, but there's actually a piece of disc material that's pushed its way out of the annulus and is sort of a free-floating fragment within the canal. Okay? okay, so it's a little bit more of a severe uh, form of a bulging disc, but, but it's all on a continuum. Okay, degenerated discs generally causes back pain as opposed to leg pain, although certainly it can mm -hmm. cause both. Essentially, what that means is, uh, think about it as a we've all had family members and friends who've had hip replacements or knee replacements, right. for example. Okay, in your spine, it's much the same thing. Okay, so if your mom or your dad had knee pain and they had knee arthritis, you could have back pain and back arthritis because the cartilage or the disc material is getting worn down, okay. essentially. Okay. So uh, di different presentations, but more commonly than not, a herniated disc is going to cause leg pain, okay? And degenerative disc is going to cause back pain predominantly, but it can be a combination of back and leg pain. And now we saw there also that there was a thinning, and that's thinning. like your shock absorbers are now almost... Or are correct. So what will happen in that case is when you have enough disc that's herniated or if the disc is degenerative enough, in that case, you can actually start to get thinning, and then this will be more back pain because it will be degenerative disc, essentially. Right. And then also, the disc height won't be there anymore. So mm -hmm. you can get something called foraminal stenosis. So the, um, the holes that the nerves come out of is maintained by the disc height. As the disc shrinks, think about it like Indiana Jones trying to exit through that little mm -hmm. hole in that movie, okay? Right. Um, <laughs> essentially, he won't be able to exit anymore because right. it'll be compressed down, and that's when you get disc compression, and that's when you get um, pain regarding yeah, the nerve roots and pain in the legs.